a mathematical and spice analysis to correct the traditional AM diode detector theory so-called peak detector theory. According to the traditional peak detector theory, for the AM modulation signal, we have considered that the negative side of the output voltage is cut by the diode, and the positive side of the peak voltage is held by the RC parallel circuit. However, this traditional peak detector theory could not explain the phenomenon in which when plural AM broadcasting stations on the different frequencies were simultaneously received, they were all demodulated at the same time. It is called crosstalk, a second order of voltage value obtained by Taylor expanding series or Maclaurin expanding series of math operation for the exponential characteristic equation, as the ideal diode of Shockley becomes just the baseband audio frequency output signal as the result of frequency conversion voltage between the carrier wave voltage and the modulated wave voltage. And the RF wave voltage content goes down to almost zero volt on the ground line through the condenser, C2. These mathematical calculations can explain the demodulation phenomenon not only when the wave of the single radio station is received but also when plural AM broadcast waves with different frequencies are received simultaneously as crosstalk. The traditional peak detector AM detector theory has been considered as an extension of the AC half-wave rectifier circuit from about the 1920s. However, AM modulated waves are composed of multiple signal voltage waves with beat phenomenon on the input voltage source. Beside, the electric characteris, gain and phase, of the diode on the radio frequency such as 600 kHz is pretty different from the characteristics on low frequency AC such as 60 Hz. So, it was unreasonable to regard the AM detector phenomenon as an extension work of the AC half-wave rectifier circuit. They are not always based on the same electric characteristics especially for radio's high-frequency range. The diodes change their electric characteristics according to the frequency range, but they are often forgotten.